Hi, I'm Saida. And I'm Ines. Today we will talk about the Jizo statues and their symbols in the literature. First, we will introduce uh, why we chose this topic, like why we decided to talk about this. Then we will tell you about the god Jizo and also what does it represent in Japanese culture. Then we will tell you about some literary words in which Jiso or Jiso statue have an important role in them or that we thought were cool to know. Okay, so we chose this topic because actually we were really interested in this after going to Kyoto. Uh, when we were in Kyoto we went to Kyumisudera and we saw this little shrine filled with Jiso statues and we went and prayed there but we didn't really know the meaning so we were very curious about it and started to do some research. Then we thought about who Jiso is and we found that it's a god in Japanese culture that is the protector of travelers and unborn children. He is so lovely, dated by Japanese people because he is believed to be very kind and compassionate that we help those in need. He is normally represented by Buddha or the tiny statues that carry his name. As Taida Jax explained, uh, Jiso is a god that takes care of the souls of unborn children. Um, that is why uh, most parents uh, go to the to these shrines and leave there some offerings for their unborn kids. Sometimes they also pray because their kid was cured from a very a very very serious disease. So they pray there to thank Jiso for curing their child. In Japanese Buddhist tradition, it is believed that the souls of children who were never born or who died after childbirth are in a kind of limo called Sai no Kawara. This is not a nice place for their souls as it is also frequently by other souls less pure. This is why the care and protection of Jesus is better so parents who have suffered a miscarriage or death of a newborn baby perform a ceremony at the Buddhist temple and buy a small Jesus statue that, ke- that they keep in the temple where they frequently go to pray for the soul of their child in another life. As part of that connection with this statue, parents of first wool hats and scarves to the statue so that they do not get cold and beams so that they do not get stained with offerings of food that are made for them. In addition, they offer small toys or children's items, hat, scarves and bibs are usually red because in Japan it is believed that red is the color that warms of demons and diseases. And for Jiso it facilitates life, fertility and childbirth. One example of this symbolism uh, can be seen in the movie Tonari no Totoro from Hayao Miyazaki Studio Ghibli and it's when Mei gets lost and you know she will be fine because behind her there are a couple of Jesus statues that obviously symbolize like taking care of children and everything that Saito just said so you unconsciously know that she will be fine because it's Jiso protecting her We know that this god and the statues have a very beautiful meaning and that they are really important in Japanese culture. So, it makes so much sense that authors use them in their work as a symbol of protection and safety. We found four texts that we think have a cool use for the Jesus statues. 
The first one is about the Thorn Puller by Hiromi Ito, and it's like a biography, it's a fiction based on the author's life that explains how she has to go back to Japan from the US to take care of her elderly parents as well as still taking care of her family in the US. In this novel, the god Jiso is a constant presence, like sometimes it's a memory, sometimes it's a symbol, or sometimes it just represented like from a tangible way. And each one her family have visited Jesus Shrine in Sugamo for generations because it they she said that her family has suffered a lot and Jiso is like considered to be thorn pulling like it takes away your pain so that's why she has visited the shrine so much and as she said um, I have no strong feelings about religion one way or the other but it's a whole different story when it comes to Jiso I'm not sure if I should call it habit or belief or what exactly it's like how I want to use Japanese when I really need to express myself like how I want to eat when I get hungry Jesus is like that for me I keep coming back to him because he's the natural thing to do. The second one is The Face of Jiso, which is a play by Hisashi Nue that talks about four days in the life of a girl named Mitsue three years after the Hiroshima bombing. While the book talks about her romantic relationship with a boy called Kinoshita, she also experienced a lot of dumps. In the turning point at the end of the play, she finds a half burning face of the Jesus statue that was the manch in the bombing. She thinks about her last partner and gets really scared that something similar might happen with the boy she likes now and wants to run away. Then her father talks to her and encourages her in a bit weird way. He literally tells her that she will be a coward if she abandoned her father like that. To be brave and to keep living and taking care of her loved one. The third one is a short story that explains how a couple of elderly people are blessed on New Year's Day after making offerings to Jesus status in cold winter. Next morning, they are awakened by some people shouting outside. And then, when they open the door, they see lots of mochi and the bags of the 12 Jesus statues going away wearing the old men's hats. And the fourth one is Sorekara, a novel by Natsume Soseki. In this novel, they appear very little, just like as a symbol, because they are Roku Jiso, like six uh, Jesus statues that mark the road to Edo. But they're one of the many boundaries that appear in the novel that when the protagonist crosses, he starts feeling anxious and nervous and it doesn't really have much relation with the meaning of the Jesus statues but I think it still has a strong meaning in this novel. We think that this text mostly explains and shows how Jesus is seen in Japanese culture and his benevolent nature. Jiso also has a strong presence in some of them, like in the face of Jiso or Senji's hat for Jiso. So, to make the long story short, Jiso statues are indeed very important in Japanese culture because of everything that they represent and their benevolent nature. Thus, it is very plausible that Japanese authors use it in their work to symbolize peace and protection, as well as being representation of one of the most beloved deities on the whole Japanese folklore. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching us. us.